All right, everything is back and okay. Huh. So today at 3 p.m. we have a live demonstration of prompt engineering, which by the way, we have changed it from promptology to prompt engineering. In fact, we've updated it across everything except we own the URLs for promptology because in Anthony's craziness, he thought that that would be the name of it in the future. So I bought all the URLs. In fact, I even paid 250 bucks for promptology.io. And we're not even using that one, we're using .us. Um, so just in case anybody wants to know if all of Rhino's investments work out, they don't. <laughs> um, okay, so we changed it to prompt engineering across the board, except the uh, the URL, the website is still prompt promptology.us slash learn. I think that's what it is. Okay, uh, so we're doing a live demonstration at three o'clock. So anyone that's in there, I'm really actually taking it seriously. I know that sounds funny. Um, but when I offered the live demonstration, I was thinking it was something I was going to, I don't want to say the word wing, right? Like that's a really disrespectful way to take someone's time. Um, hey, Frida. But I use um, our AI all day. So I have a really good foundational knowledge to the point that I might even be called an expert. I, <laughs> yeah, it really does, Deborah. I use it all day. So can I just turn the screen on and let everyone look over my shoulder for an hour and everyone would learn something? Yeah, of course. In fact, my wife last night was needed, well, not needed help, but she was like, hey, I have this long paper to write and I have this, um, all these uh, practice test questions that um, the professor assured us, uh, majority of them will be on the test. So that's kind of how the professor was goading them into studying. And she goes, it's going to take me hours. I go, actually, can you just give me a half hour with it and I'll do it all for you? And she's like, what are you talking about? And of course she knows what I'm talking about because we're married, right? It's not like she's like someone that just walked in the house that day. Um, she goes, oh, you're going to do it with your AI? I'm like, yeah, actually I am. She goes, you have fun doing this. I'm like, yeah, I want to like, give it to me. Let me do it. Um, so I wrote a 3000 word paper on aromatherapy um, and the effects it has on, uh, on pregnant women. Um, 3,000 words, really, really beautiful. And I answered 100 test questions, all with the correct answer, or I guess the correct answer, right? It's chat GPT-4. If, if it doesn't know the correct answer, that's, that's a problem. Um, and I, I sent it to her and she's like, oh my God. Now, of course she's rewording it and, and doing all the things that a responsible student would do. But in terms of having that as like a, a starting point, uh, she couldn't be happier. And when I had done that, it, it dawned on me. I was like, you know what? I want tomorrow to be really well. I want it to be really well structured. I want it to be fantastic. Um, so I'm going to spend my day today um, putting together kind of like, I don't want to say slides, because slides just, maybe slides, I don't know. There's nothing wrong with slides. I just always don't like when people use them because if you can't speak from the heart, then A, I don't find you to be too genuine, and B, I don't find your product to be too genuine because as, as someone that eats, sleeps, and breeds Rhino, there is nothing I'm ever going to need a teleprompter for to talk about Rhino. It, you could ask me any question. I, I, I sleep on the factory floor, if that makes sense, right? Um, so in lieu of that, I never, I never really like using um, uh, slides. But for something like this, I, I think I will use slides because I want to go ahead and structure. All right, well, what about, what about this use case? What about this use case? What about this use case? Um, and I think the more so than anything, the viewer who we're doing this for um, will benefit from that type of structure. So I'm going to spend all day doing it. And on a personal note, I really like this. There's certain things I shouldn't share, but then there's things that I just I am human, right? And even in saying that, I know I shouldn't share it, but I'm human. So, and I'll let everyone fill in the blanks, right? So that'll be my personal compromise with myself. Those that know, know, and those that don't know, I'm, I'm respecting, I'm respecting the, the ethics of it all. There was a certain individual that I used to work with, and I, I have nothing bad to say about him. In fact, he was my mentor in the sense that I knew nothing about internet marketing, and now I'm... I, I know something, right? I know a little bit about it. And two weeks ago, he actually reached out to me. And we were talking and talking and talking. It was one of those 1130 at night conversations that this individual uh, might have had some extra spirits in his um, in his glass. And he was 
he was he was he was enjoying sharing his life and of course you know i went outside and my family was sleeping indoors and i was able to kind of just hang out and and kick it uh catch up with this individual so this individual said that uh you know he asked me what i'm doing and he's he's aware of what i'm doing and uh if he could be a part of it and i said well actually i will go ahead and make you a whole bunch of slides and 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 things and you could promote it this weekend he goes that would be really great in fact i have nothing to promote this weekend i said that's cool um you know and we have a lot of common uh common uh members but he still has a, a very very large ecosystem that is not rhino so it'd be our benefit um the weekend came and went you didn't hear anything from him and i was like all right whatever you know i i don't i'm past the point of ever depending on one person if somebody wants to do something, great. If you don't want to do it, I don't care, right? Like you do you. So then yesterday, and I still get this individual's emails. My mouth is so itchy or my, my chin, my chin, my, my upper lip. Um, so I got his emails and yesterday's email was titled, I just made 600,000 in four days. Here's the real case study. And I was like, okay, well, there's a case study for it. I have to know what this is. And, and maybe to his credit, he, he really gets you to click the email. Like, I don't ever click his emails, but I don't spam them because I, I respect them, right? Like, all right, I, I want to be a part of your, your good percentage, right? Like, that's me giving back, so to speak. And sometimes I click them. I want to add to his open rates, whatever. So I had to watch it. I was like, what is this? And, you know, this guy comes out and it's his AI face. And I, that was pretty cool. And I was like, I got to see what it is, because again, you know, if I could learn something from someone else, I, I would love to do that. The Internet's a very large place for me to ever say, hey, listen, whatever you're doing, I don't care. Well, that would never be Rhino, right? Um, imitation is the highest form of flattery, and Rhino believes that as well. So I watched it. And this individual put on a whole case study about how he had his own, his own, his own uh, platform, right? He had his own business. He has all of his own things and he was putting on a big affiliate uh, campaign and his life got busy and he couldn't go ahead and spend the time to do all the things that he knew he had to do. So he went on ChatGPT and he prompted it. He said, hey, listen, make this in the style of Russell Brunson. And he spent hours doing it, which if you're spending hours doing that, you probably could have spent hours doing the other thing originally that you were supposed to do. So I don't really believe you to begin with. But he prompted it and he prompted it and it gave him a whole script and he took that script and he put it in the email and he sent it out and all of his waiting affiliates took that script and it motivated them and they made a bunch of sales for him. First of all, nobody could do that unless you have a whole bunch of affiliates that are already in your ecosystem that are already willing to push your product. Secondly, you want me like, am I so, am I such a do to do? that you're showing me that you went on a free site and asked it to do the most basic thing and because you did that and you are completely ex you're completely expecting that i know nothing about nothing because anyone that knows something about something would look at that and say i could go do that in my sleep my child could go do that but now i'm supposed to say oh my god he has this technology i need to now go ahead and pay this guy that was the email and i'm thinking to myself not only did you ask me if you could do the email the week before, and not only did you not follow up with it, but on top of that, we offer 4.0 that is actually on our website for free that we pay $500 a month for. So what you're offering is for people to pay you to get like some consulting for the free version that anyone could get 3.5. Well, Rhino actually offers the 4.0 for absolutely free that you can't get because we have exclusive access to it. We pay 500 a month for it. And guess what? If you guys use it enough and our, and, and our bill goes over 500, we're already in agreement with OpenAI that we will cover it. We will cover whatever that bill is because our rhinos mean the most to us. So as I'm sharing the story, as I saw that email yesterday, as I helped my wife, I go, you know what? I wanna do a really good presentation today because the reason I got into internet marketing, or at least the reason I stayed in it, was that when you see, I don't want to say crux, I think that's a, it's a really harsh word. And uh, my son loves Frozen, and in one of the scenes he goes, let me handle this crook, and the guy stands up like, excuse me? So it's a really, really strong word. But when you see someone that is openly 
assuming, and I'm going to be as nice as I can be, openly assuming that the person that they're speaking to is unable to add two plus two and lives under a rock. I guess that wasn't really polite, but that's as polite as I could be with this. Um, and then you're going to charge them. That's what Rhino's always done. In fact, we stopped charging everyone for any, anything. And we said, listen, we want to make sure that we go ahead and, and are able to give the access of everything to everyone. And again, it all funnels to Rhino Bucks, right? Um, and that's the, the centerpiece of the Rhino universe. Um, and it's so nothing's free, but those that want to participate and say, look, look, I like Rhino, I want to participate in the mission that they're having. And the belief is that their mission is ultimately successful. A lot of people join it. Therefore, my participation today at this price is going to make me a lot of money. So if I could participate in something and make money and learn it and participate in it every day, if I could say participate one more time, then that's a good thing. And it all, it just works. Um, so I have like an extra energy today, an extra like I want to do a good presentation. <sighs> Thanks for listening. <laughs> so we sent out our 10 a.m. email today, and it's actually for chat GPT 4.0 access because we want to go ahead and continue giving that out for free. In that email, it's, um, it shares with the reader that we're doing this 3 p.m. presentation tonight. And if they go ahead and opt into chat GPT 4 for free in their confirmation email, they're going to go ahead and get offered uh, prompt engineering, which is a 14 day free trial, $1 a week uh, program. And if they opt into that, that confirmation email will have their Zoom link to join tonight. Now, also why this is going to be such a well done presentation is that we're gonna record it. And that will be part of the welcome sequence to anyone that joins prompt engineering. So it's, it all makes sense, right? Like it all comes together. Um, so I can't believe that just took me 13 minutes to talk about, but that's like, I really, like when I saw that yesterday, I was like, you have to, like, this is so bad. And I promise you that these people are going to make a ton of money off of it. And it, it really disturbs me. And it, it just goes back to the sentence that like, you can, what's it like, you can, you can't fool, everyone all of the time but you could fool some of the people all the time or all of the people some of the time right and for whatever reason i guess this person has a, a business of just continually finding the sum of the sum of the sum of the people um but i don't think that lasts forever so it is what it is anyways um let's get into some numbers so rhino is closing in on ninety six thousand, which is another all-time high Rhino price is closing in at 222, which is a very nice rebound from us holding the line at two. Now remember, our high was I think 256 and we fortified the market at two. Again, I wrote a really passionate email yesterday um, and, and I meant that from the heart. Like, I think it's easy to sometimes um, look past how difficult all of this is because I'm always smiling, but there's a lot that goes on. And while the whole world is crashing, Rhino was like everyone's safe haven. Um, and to that point, I'm actually going to share something with you. But um, so we fortified it at two. We've, we, we secured that. And now it's 222. And the coolest part was when we were 256, our market cap was 65,000. It's now 95,000, which means at a lower price, we've put so much more money into it that when we get back to 256, which will be about like a month, if that, um, it'll be 120,000, somewhere around there. And so that's big numbers. And presumably we'll just continue because all the good stuff is about to happen. Um, so, okay. Oh, we added another eight members last night. So we're now at 417. Um, that's eight members, I think three days in a row, which is really, really cool. Um, so we're, we're moving, like things are going well. Um, so that, 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 I did not speak to our department with the bots because we're in such a good place. I told them to do what they want and Monday will catch up. Um, if they did nothing, Monday still leaves us plenty of time to be ready for the weekend, but I know that they're going to work on it. So I really feel good that Monday 3 p.m. is gonna be a very good call with that member. Oh, whisper, okay, it's not, Okay, it's not perfect yet, but uh, let me show you something. Okay, so I'm gonna do share screen. Um, so it doesn't work on Safari. Come on, how do I? Okay, 
Uh, so, oh wait, I have to go to Chrome. All right. Hey, Rhino, you look good today. You know, Rhino, you look sexy today. All right, let's hide that. Um, let's move that. Okay, so rhinostreet.com. Okay, so this is live. So Rhino Whisper. Um, let's see if I'm able to do this with the headphones. Okay, so I'm gonna press this. Hold on. I gotta refresh that. What year was Michael Jordan born? What? Cycle like Julian Point. Uh, I, I think it's because I have Zoom on too. Darn it. What year was Michael Jordan born? All right, let's see. Did you hear that? <laughs> so cool. Um, all right, so let me get back to y'all. That was so cool. Yeah, um, I hope everyone heard that. Were you able to hear that? Anyone answer, please, someone say yes. All right, so I hope you were able to hear that. Now, a couple of things are going to be upgraded, not from, oh man. All right, so you can go to Chrome or Edge or basically any, could not hear, oh man. All right, so it was just in my headphones. All right, so you can basically go to any, um, any uh what's it called any any website right like um what's it called server domain i don't know uh you just can't use safari but you could use any other one and that works um and it does talk back browser thank you robbie i'm like losing my mind you could go to any browser and it works except for safari which we're still working with apple the voice is very robotic michael jordan was born with a little um, that's being changed to a really great British accent that will be done by Monday. We've already paid for it. The API is being installed. It's going to speak slower because it's like blah, 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 blah. Um, instead, it's going to speak Michael Jordan was born and, you know, regular speed. And I wanted to be able to sing, but that's like Anthony being Anthony. Um, so that's probably not going to happen, but it works. So that's really cool. Um, I think that's all I have for today. Um, yeah, so everything's going good. Everything's going really good. So I'm going to get to work now. I believe I caught up on all of the emails. I don't think there's anyone I need to email back, which is really, which is really great. It lets me just get into my day right away. Um, today I'll be adding a couple thousand new emails to our outgoing emails. I'm going to email our Rhino partner team, update them on affiliate numbers for the week. Also provide some new copy. I'll probably just provide the copy that I used yesterday. Um, which I which I told them I was going to. Um, if you haven't been to Rhino Hub, we reorganized it. It looks much nicer now. Um, that's a good thing. I guess that's it, right? Like I, I I don't need to continue talking your ear off. Um, I guess the moral of the story is everything's great. <laughs> I should have just pressed the button there. Like that was the mic drop. Everything's great. Um, but but no, everything's really good. So I love y'all, and I will see you Monday. Um, Frida, it's good for all of us. Um, the bot, though, I'm fully expecting it to be completed by Friday. Because next weekend, I do want all of the lander pages to have that bot on it. And then we could really see what numbers look like. And then our next step is turning that bot into an affiliate bot, meaning that you could have ownership of it and you could put it anywhere. And every sale that it makes, you get credit for it, which is the holy grail. I honestly, th you know, let me take a second. I honestly believe that regardless of what we're doing, you could take everything about Rhino and throw it out a window. If you just give people a bot that can sell by itself and the goal and, and all that is needed of the person is to do the labor and putting it everywhere, but they already know the bot can sell because the bot can actually take any conversation that anyone has, um, participate in it and find a way to bring it back to what it's selling and can continue trying to sell it until the person stops. And that bot automatically credits the person that puts the bot anywhere. And that person is getting paid in the currency that goes up as the bot does the sales. You could take everything, throw it out a window, just say that. And I think the whole world goes nuts. I just think it does. And I think this is kind of like a I don't want to say virus, right? Like that's such a bad thing to say, 
It's such a bad connotation. But seriously, like a virus, say Frida, just Frida, right? Only Frida gets the bot. So what does Frida do? Frida puts the bot everywhere and people are like, oh my God, like, and Frida's making a ton of money because the bot's making all these sales. She keeps getting a whole bunch of coin in, in, that, that she's being rewarded in. And she's like, oh my God, this is amazing. Now we go ahead and say to Frida, Frida, we're actually going to bonus you even more if you share this bot with others. We'll give you 1% on every affiliate you bring into this. Well, Frida's gonna say, oh my God, hey guys, 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 you know what I have over here? You know what, see all this money? It's so easy, just take that, just put it places. And when you do that, boom, boom, boom. Now we're only gonna do one level. Like this isn't like a multi-level marketing like scheme, right? But now everyone that gets into it knows that they can do it. And everyone that, it just has, it has, it's perfect. It's just perfect. Because again, everything that you're gonna be compensated in goes up as a direct result of the sales that you're making. And the sales that you're making guarantee that you're able to be, to be able to get liquid because it's just, a, it's just really cool. Oh, last thing. I forgot there was one other thing I wanted to share. Um, one of our rhinos, and, and this is a testament to Rhino. So I, I want to share this just because it's like, I want people to know this happens. So one of our, and, and I've said it many times, but whenever I get a chance to share it, I, I would like to. One of our Rhinos um, needs to go ahead and liquidate his account. He has 1300 Rhino. And he said, um, and I just, you know, I kind of need some funds for something. And you're the only coin that, that, that I could sell. Every other coin you know, you won't get the money back. It's on hold. It's crashed. Like you're the only one that actually I feel confident that I could get the money out of. So unfortunately, like I kind of need to do this. I go, that's fine. Like you're, you're welcome to anything you'd like. He goes, but I'd like to work with you on this. I don't want to go ahead and upset to Rhino price. And I do want to go ahead and do it in a, a stable way. And I want to make sure you're okay with it. And I always say, thank you. Like that's the nicest thing in no, no market. Do I ever, have I ever known where people that are going to sell call the set up a call with the individual that's, I guess, promoting or or leading the market and ask for advice on on how to do it. Um, so this individual will be selling anywhere from, I think, 75 to 80 a day until May 1st, which presumably and we didn't do the exact calculations, but May 1st, his balance would have gone from 1300 to zero. I say this for a couple of reasons. One, if you see someone new selling, that's the story. And you can always click their account and look at their wallet, right? Like that's that's public ledger stuff. But secondly, in the in the back of your mind when you're thinking, okay, can something cataclysmic happen? There's many variables to it. Okay, there's 160,000 coin out there, the market, the liquidity pool is only 95,000, meaning if everyone sold, the coin would go to like 10 cents or whatever number it would be. That sounds cataclysmic, right? So I get it. But when you constantly hear stories and see real examples of anybody that has any amount of coin over 500, personally booking a call to talk to us so that we are aware of their selling, that we are able to support it, and it doesn't hurt the others. Well, now that, that cataclysmic variable that you have in your head, oh my God, what if people just sell? greatly diminishes because if the behavior of those that are selling is one of which that they actually contact us first to go ahead and, and, and structure how to do it, it's a good thing. So the point that, I've, that I'm trying to make, that I always try to make is Rhino is built in a way that is everyone. And a lot of marketing plans all use this word unity and we're together, but like they were not together. Like uh, nobody calls me, nobody asks me my opinion on something. Rhino is different because there is no single person that has a large amount that knows that if they went ahead and sold it, it would hurt others that actually do it or would do it. They all call and set up a time beforehand to talk. Um, so I, I wanna share that because it's very easy to always feel like I'm just me. I, you know, I'm not united with anyone. So I don't know who these people are. I don't talk to them. I don't have their phone number. We don't go to dinner together, but there is a thing called consciousness that everyone is bonded by. And when everyone, it, when the actions of every individual is in the conscious mind for the, the whole, it is my job to make sure that you're aware of that so that it does go ahead and um, nurture your next behavior, which then continues nurturing the behavior, right? So now I'm going. I think Saturdays are my longest calls because I, like, I don't see you Sunday and it, it, it bothers me. 
I'm not making Sunday calls, I promise. My, my wife would kill me. I love all of you. I'll see you Monday. Bye.